Welcome. Today I uh, want to show you how to implement the K nearest neighbors algorithm as a Python one liner. And I'll also give some explanations about uh, what exactly the K nearest neighbors algorithm is and what it can it can do. So usually the uh, K and N, which is the abbreviation for K nearest neighbors, is a very popular algorithm used in machine learning and data science for both regression and classification tasks. And um, you can find it in recommender systems, image classifications, uh, financial data forecasting, or um, many other applications like in image processing and video processing. And it's a basis of many more advanced uh, uh, machine learning techniques, for example, in uh, information retrieval. So it's really important to understand this basic uh, algorithm also for your proficient education in computer science topics. Okay, so um, now maybe maybe first I will give you the um, uh, quick um, idea. I've just uh, finished a graphical representation of the KNN algorithm and um, or the general idea basically. So let's let's open it for you. Okay, here you can see. You can see I've, I've drawn this uh, two-dimensional diagram. So it's um, uh, on the x-axis we have the house size in square meters, and on the y-axis we have the house price. So this is obviously uh, data that uh, represents the um, the relation between the size of of housing in the U.S., for example, and the price. And of course with uh, larger size of your house, uh, the price would, uh, would rise as well. And you can see here, uh, we have some data points. Here the black axis are some data points. And now suppose we want to find... Um, so this is, this is kind of our model. And the interesting thing in KNN is um, the simple idea that the whole data set is your model, basically. So you don't have so usually in machine learning, you have the training data set and you infer some some kind of model for, out from this data set, which is a representation of your data set, but, but much more concise and which also comprises of more high level knowledge. Yeah, kind of you, you try to identify trends and patterns in your data set, in your training data, and um, the model generalizes this data. And KNN is also um, able to generalize uh, knowledge from the training data, but basically the model itself, it's simply a collection of your whole data set. And uh, so you can see now if this is our training data, this is also our model. And now suppose we have a query. So we want to do a, we want to do prediction uh, tasks. And uh, so we have uh, the prediction for, for so suppose you were you're working in a, uh, in a retail, uh, real estate uh, sector and uh, your client comes and he wants to know oh, I have a house with 52 square meter very tiny house um, what is the house price based on your data and now you have all this client data you have all these points and um, now if you uh, now you could simply run your KNN algorithm and for example select k equals 3 so we also can denote this as 3nn um, you have three, de um, which means that you determine the nearest neighbors. So you plot, so you kind of um, uh, represent your query in the space of your existing data sets, and um, which is this D, 52 square meter. And now you find all the near the three nearest neighbors from all of your data. And uh, in this case, we have three data po data points or data items, A, B, C which are closest to our query. And uh, here we have the data. We have A is 50 square meter, cost $34,000 uh, and so on. So B, C. And now we calculate D, uh, our predicted value, as the average among all our, our uh, nearest neighbors. And of course, we can use any aggregator function to aggregate K um, values into a single predicted wa prediction value. but a very robust and um, proven technique is just to use the average of all the uh, values in your um, uh, in your uh, in, in the k nearest neighbors environment. Okay, and the prediction would be thirty three thousand one hundred sixty seven, which is very uh, I think a reasonable prediction. It would be somewhere here in this uh, area, so um, in the middle, basically, and it's a, a centroid of all these points in the space. So reasonable prediction. Okay, now how can we implement this in Python? Let's open the Python shell. Um, 
I give you, I promised you the one liner. Now I have uh, already prepared uh, something. So now first we have to Im uh, import the uh, SkyKit Learn library, particularly the neighbors um, uh, module, and we import a uh, package and we import the K neighbors uh, regressor module. Okay. So if you want to do classification, then you we would import the classifier yeah the k neighbors classifier but we don't want to do this we want to do regressor and of course we also need numpy as usual for for these uh, types of data so first let's create the, uh, the de some data so we have um, i just copy paste um, a numpy uh, we create a numpy array called x we have some data for example the house size in square meter and uh, um, uh, the house price. So, for example, thirty thousand dollar and uh, forty-five thousand dollars for a house with uh, forty-five um, square meters. Okay, now the one-liner, one-liner. Okay, the one-liner is um, basically here we create the, uh, our model and we use our K neighbors regression which we imported. And on this, uh, first we have to basically. Uh, this is a class we have, which we have to uh, we have to create an object first. And the object um, we specify the n neighbors um, property. And uh, this basically creates an object um, of our k neighbors uh, regression, setting the number of neighbors, so our k value, to three. I don't know why why they why they, they don't have uh, used simply k because k and n we select k but yeah that's it that's it so first you create this uh, regressor and you specify the k parameter and now we have the regressor we can call the function fit and now we use the um, so basically we have we have to fit an um, so we have some x data and some y data I will replace them in a, in a moment. So we so we, basically this is what we are doing. We fit. We have some input here. Let's call it x1 and some output x2. Basically, uh, this is our kind of training input and our training output. If you check if you check the graphic again, we have the training input is our house size and the training output is our house price. Yeah, so we have a mapping from input to output, two one-dimensional NumPy arrays. So we just put in two. Uh, one-dimensional NumPy arrays. And um, so what are our NumPy arrays? Obviously, so if you print um, if you print x, let's comment this out. If you print x, you see that we have uh, this training data. It's kind of, um, in every in every line we have one observation. And uh, basically we want to have the first column of this matrix. 35, 45, 40, and so on. This column uh, is our input, and this column is our output. And we have to keep the data two-dimensional, basically, which means so basically what our main idea. So the your idea might be to use k uh, x we slice over all lines and select the first column, and as output we slice over all lines and select the uh, second column. Um, if you don't know about slicing, I will give a reference to my slicing booklet uh, so that you can get it um, below the video. Okay, so now we have. Uh, um, okay, so we are, now we have the input and the output basically. But the problem is that if you print, if you print this. So first, I have to comment this out, out because it was throw an error. If you if you print this, you see that we have now one-dimensional um, data here. So if you print, so our input to our uh, fit function would be one-dimensional data, and this is not what uh, should be uh, what is expected by the regressor. It expects two-dimensional data. So the input should be should have the following form. I I show you um, we have to reshape uh, it. We take uh, the our laziness operator minus one, and we we tell him that we want to reshape. We want to have a NumPy array with only one column, 
and the rest he should take care of. So how many rows basically the data. So it, ta it, it takes the data we uh, I have shown you uh, previously. He uh, reshapes it so that we have a two-dimensional uh, array. So we have two dimensions, two values, two-dimensional array. The first dimension is the rows. And we tell him, yeah, an arbitrary number of rows as you want, uh, as many data items as we have. And but I, we want to enforce one column. This is our requirement. The rest is handled by the algorithm. Yeah? So this is basically what it means. Minus one is kind of our uh, dummy value. OK, and uh, basically, if you do this, then our output would be ignore uh, ignore the error uh, message because I have not commented out our KNN yet. Uh, but uh, you can see now we have the same data. We have our uh, housing prices, but as a two dimensional NumPy array. And this is what we want. So each um, uh, each each item of our NumPy array is basically a NumPy array itself. Okay, so therefore this expression is our input for our one-liner. So we take this as as an y value, and we take a similar expression as our x value, but we want to take the first column. Okay, so here we select the, select the first column and here we select the second column. And uh, now we do this reshaping thing to ensure that both columns have uh, uh, are um, two-dimensional, or both input values to our fit function are two-dimensional. Okay, and now we already gave the, uh, the algorithm everything he needs to know. So, we, so he knows the input values, he knows the output value, he can build the model, he knows that we search for three values. Now basically the only thing we have to do is, um, so now check our result. So this is a one-liner and our result, we, our result is we use our model to predict on a new unseen value, 30. 30, you can see, so again, and again 30, our predicted value is again a um, two-dimensional NumPy array with only one value, but this is kind of the syntax that is, that is required. Okay, so uh, so we always have as input uh, this two-dimensional data or more dimensional data. Okay, so um, yeah, you can see 30, so 30 square meter is nev nowhere in our input, but still we can predict and we get a, and you as you can see we get a very robust and reasonable prediction for this if you print our result if you print the result then you see we have our prediction is uh, $32,500 for our 30 square uh, flat and you can see it's very reasonable it basically it, uh, here it basically takes the I can I actually I have a plot which shows you exactly what uh, what is the prediction here somewhere okay where is the plot here yes okay so this is basically the pred prediction this is done we have the house size in square meters these axes are our houses our observations uh, that we have uh, seen in the data here you can see uh, yeah 35 uh, 30,000 and so on 35 35 and 30,000. This is one observation. And now we have our query. Query is 30, 000, uh, 30 square meters. And now we select the k nearest neighbors. And it calculates the average as the y value, as the house price value from these k nearest neighbors. Um, and it takes this as the predicted value, basically. So that's it. It's a very simple one liner. Um, here it's just we create the model. K neighbors regressor. It's a class, so basically we have to call the cl uh, the constructor. We um, pass a number of the the k parameter to our model, and then we call the fit function. So uh, fit function basically does nothing but populate the model. So the fit function usually uh, cre uh, creates the parameters of the model, but in our case we simply throw in uh, our, all our observations, and uh, of course the memory. Uh, usage of, of this model can uh, can be quite large and therefore it, might, it has some advantages and some disadvantages but it's a very robust classifier and regressor and um, yeah it's basically uh, very good to know about this at least okay and then we um, 
basically then we have the model defined in one single line of code and now we can call predict on unseen uh, um, x values or on unseen uh, um, uh, observ uh, observations yes okay good that's it uh, thank you for uh, listening if you uh, like this video and like to learn more about uh, NumPy and uh, basics of Python, then join my email list. I will also give a link below. Uh, in, the, in my email list, I send you at least one cheat sheet per, cheat sheet per week uh, about different topics in computer science and Python. And uh, I'll also give you almost a daily uh, lecture or lesson about uh, computer science topics, so various topics. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Join my email list and uh, see, you, see you soon.